Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. Or you have someone that wants to create something with you. You want to create something, but there's a masculine energy here. You have a masculine that's coming. Oh, I just said it. Somebody wants to create with you. The Six of Wands is here. Oh, shoot. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Come on, good energy. Six of Wands. And here we have the King of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Somebody is on fire for you. I feel it too. I mean, the the Empress with the Page of Cups, the Seven of Wands. I feel like your um your auric field is is being cleansed, cleared, and purified. You're very protected. You probably have. Uh, I just heard dodge some type of bullet here. Somebody here is taking swift action. Now, I did a reading maybe a week, maybe two weeks ago, where I was saying that for some of you, you have a masculine that is about to enter your life. For some, re-enter your life. This is not someone that has left you hurt or wounded. This is a very new, um, clean, pure, light energy here. Okay, so if I say re-enter on my channel, we, we don't promote um, toxicity. Okay, so if I ever speak of someone re-entering your life, I'm not talking about someone re-entering your life that you have to look over your shoulder with. But you have the, the Empress, the Page of Cups, and the Seven of Wands here. If you are not trying to conceive right now, you need to be careful. It's almost like someone, like somebody, their their purpose, their, their agenda. But it, it doesn't come off as bad, like a hidden motive. Is to go into some kind of partnership with you. You have the Empress card and the Two of Cups with the Page of Cups. So there's a lot of romance here. There's a lot of love and offer, okay? Of course, everyone is not trying to conceive and everyone does not want to have kids, may not be able to have kids. But when I speak of birth, this could be the birth of anything. This could be a new business. This could be a new home. There's something here. You're carrying a universe within you. The page of cups is here. You're receiving some type of romantic offer, an opportunity of some sort. The knight of swords. Someone is 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 rushing towards you, and they're listening to their spirit guides, their angels, their ancestors. They're being guided, and they've been given the protection that they need. So I'm honestly seeing that there is a divine connection here that is very much protected. There's a feminine energy here who is covering a masculine in the in the spirit. These roles are constantly re like switching and reversing. Some of you energetically, whom whoever you're connected to, the role of the feminine and the masculine, it may switch between the two of you. Everyone has feminine and masculine energy, but your primary roles, this is not a connection here. I'm, I'm seeing clearly it, this is not the type of connection where it's based solely on gender roles. It's a partnership here that's developing. So you're looking at the goals, not the gender roles. I feel like you've done a lot to protect yourself from different energies. This person who's in your life or entering your life or re-entering your life, for some of you, this person, they're being guided by... Um, there, some someone on their spiritual team, they're being guided to you. You could have been closed off or blocked off to love or this particular person. But spirit is saying that there is great success in this situation. The king of wands in this deck, this is definitely like a, um, a twin flame divine counterpart kind of energy. Especially this is someone that's coming towards you and they mean what they say. And they say what they mean when it comes to matters of the heart. You may be on guard, though, because of some kind of um, drama that has been surrounding you at some point. The Five of Wands is here with the Queen of Swords. This person is going to make it very clear, though, that it is safe for you to love. 
some of you, this is the one. This this will be the one. This will grow into a partnership or a connection where you and this person, you will for sure, you will have it all together is what I'm saying here. The Two of Cups is here with the Ace of Cups and the King of Wands. This could be a fire sign person with the Six of Wands. Someone here very passionate, very optimistic, um, charming, you know, this person is convincing too. I'm not getting a conning or shysty type of energy. No negative, nothing negative is here. Queen of Swords and the Five of Wands though. Now I will say for one of you or both of you, there could be a situation that is currently in your environment that could be, you know, something happening now or even from the past that could cause a bit of chaos or conflict someone could be sending you chaos or conflict because they are aware that this connection is coming in for you or it has already arrived for some this is also the type of connection that may cause others to be a bit jealous and envious to be honest this queen of swords could be somebody who's sending conflict or, or chaos towards you because you're having victory and success with this person. This could be someone in your life or it could be someone in their life or, of course, from your past or from this person's past. Take it how it resonates. It could be all of the above. <laughs> Let's hope not. Queen of Wands is falling out. So the Queen of Wands, yeah, is the pair for the King of Wands. And then look at what you have for the Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles with the Justice card. So... There's a, a there's a, the recognition of a twin flame here or a union that's happening. We have the king and queen of wands out here, eight of pentacles, ten of pentacles. You and this person, it is destined for the two of you to build some type of legacy together. Some of you, like I said, you definitely are going to birth something with this person in the page of cups. Obviously, when you think of legacy, typically you, you think of um, children. And assets I feel like you and this person are for sure going to be sharing children and, and 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 assets whether you have them together or you're blending your family or both or you're gonna build some type of business if there is a lot of emphasis though on children maybe you guys are going to have some type of business or a service that is provided for children but the king and queen of wands this is definitely giving look at that the lovers the Ace of Pentacles, the Magician, oh my gosh, wow, and the Nine of Swords. This right here is the kind of energy where you're really going to be saying this This has to be just too good to be true. There's no way. There's no way. But Spirit is saying just surrender and allow this to happen. You deserve it. Yeah, because you've grown and you've elevated. The confusion and the fog has been cleared for you. Seven of Cups with the World card here. The partnership that you've been waiting on is coming in. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. You may have been um, confused about a situation from the past where perhaps there was no equal give and take. You've gone through some type of awakening now. So you could have had a King of Pentacles in your past. They caused a lot of illusions for you. There was a lack of equal give and take in this situation. Not a lot of reciprocity. This person may not have been taking action towards you. They could have had you in a third party situation. Um, it was definitely some type of stalemate situation. But it looks like now you are absolutely moving forward. You're moving away from one connection and you're going into another. So it looks like at one point you were the queen of pentacles with someone or you were hoping to be the queen of pentacles you had high hopes to be the queen of pentacles with this king of pentacles but most likely there was some kind of third party situation here um it fell under the lover's card so this person was unable to make a decision may most likely because they were stuck in another situation where there were um you know shared resources assets and liabilities because the ace of pentacles is here this person could not let go of another situation because of the financial responsibility that they had or whatever they had built with another person despite the spiritual connection that the two of you had but this is this led to your awakening with the hangman being here you learned a lot about not accepting um situations where it's unrequited or it's one-sided this this taught you a lot about your own self-love healing 
journey being in your feminine energy the feminine energy naturally receives so now you're moving to a higher level of commitment with the will and the hierophant and that's the truth the ace of swords wow i cannot i mean really this this is like a major shift here the king of swords here with the star and the high priestess yeah page of pentacles and the emperor and the tower the three of cups you're going into a union here it's very clear you're walking away from all that doesn't serve you right now you could feel like you're tired like you're restless you may feel drained um it's because you're going through a major energetic clearing or cleansing right now where you're purging after waiting a long time for something to come through a lot of you there has been a very significant missed opportunity but it made you much stronger it helped you to really see the truth about illusions here and you're being forced now to drop any of the baggage or the drama from your past here that was holding you back because you have a brand new passionate beginning coming in with the Knight of Cups here. This is something that's going to make you very, very happy and excited. I don't think that there's going to be any juggling here. This is, is a magical opportunity that you don't want to miss because it's leading you to the Ten of Cups. So you really need to allow yourself to rest heal retreat rejuvenate but allow this new love in okay you may definitely experience um fears though because the devil is here some of you 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 have a bit of ptsd from some type of narcissistic abuse or just dealing with someone who is very cunning um that's had you on this roller coaster of a ride when it comes to matters of the heart and your your journey okay but somebody here is is in for a rude awakening because i do feel like a person had a plan to pursue you but there was a plan to pursue you only to manipulate you and hold you back from this offer that's coming in because we have the devil the five of swords and the five of pentacles here there's a masculine here who is very confused about how you were able to see past this illusion here and get out of whatever this mental entrapment is or this illusion is that this person was presenting to you that had you left out in the cold someone is is really shocked that you were able to see the truth with the page of swords here and you were able to actually ascend grow evolve and become this nine of pentacles and here you have the nine of cups so someone cannot believe that you actually liberated yourself so what somebody really did is <laughs> they constantly emotionally manipulated you this king of king of cups eight of swords energy someone constantly mentally manipulated you and they drug their feet and, and did make an offer but they did everything to hold on to you to try to create the illusion that they would want to build something with you but it led to the five of cups it was a missed opportunity what this person didn't know though is that you were actually going within in your healing and although this part it's, it's like that whole one man's trash is a, another man's treasure somebody here they played a lot of mind games with you and wanted you to be stuck in some type of illusion. This is a past person that is for sure toxic. Um, but it prepares you for the love of a lifetime. It prepares you for the one. And we've been mentioning this a lot about you really accepting that there are some toxic or um, that there are some karmic situations that you're, you're wanting to change your perspective about it being bad and see that it actually was the best thing for you that that pain is what pushed you into some type of purpose and a, and a better understanding of yourself and your journey ahead because somebody for sure led you on to believe that there would be some type of partnership here but they 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 chose to be in a third party situation with someone else where finances is for sure like the highlight or the primary reason why they are with that other person. But this person gave you nothing but a lot of broken promises and false hope. This person, what I don't like though is this person was fully aware of what they were doing. This person figured out. Um, this person figured out some time ago that they wouldn't be able to make you an offer and i feel like once they realized that they couldn't make you an offer 
because something happened with them and this other person with their finances. It, it, I'm getting the energy where somebody was thinking about coming towards you and then they got pulled back into a cycle and now they're stuck there for good. Like there's no way for them to come out. Or even if they do get out of a relationship with someone else, spirit has already replaced them with a new person in your life. So they've already been blocked off and they can't come towards you even if they wanted to. It's something here about timing. This person, they failed some type of test. They were not supposed to go back to a situation. Once again, it's a karmic cycle here that's on a loop. This person was supposed to hop off the karmic wheel. They gambled. This came out a few weeks ago. They went back again. Maybe they went back because of children or this person is expecting. It's definitely something about children and finances, but we don't really want to focus on the past situation because what's interesting is for a lot of you, Everything that you wanted with this person and to be on, and honestly, everything that they have with someone else, you're about to have that and so much more because th there's for sure a masculine here who has children, possibly a business or something with somebody else. And they kept you in this hangman position with the three of swords. This was almost like, like torture to you emotionally and energetically because you and this person most likely are past life soulmates. You and this person were most likely married in another lifetime here. But, um, and, and there was an opportunity for you to come back together this time. But this person, they chose the third party. Which, you know, I hate to say third party because honestly, they're in a committed relationship with the other person. You know, most people, they would see... Whoever the divine feminine is, the outsider looking in as a third party. But um, it's just a, a matter of, I guess, perception. But perception is what creates your reality. Divine feminine, whoever you are, you are the third party. Okay? Let's let's all be honest here. This Whoever this masculine is from the past, they're in a committed relationship with somebody else. And although they're drawn to you energetically... And spiritually, because, you know, of a past life or because there was a karmic lesson you guys were supposed to learn together, this person is for sure in another situation with someone else. And they've gone through a cycle with this person. I'm getting for at least nine years because I see two nines here. I keep being drawn to these two nines here. There could be a Scorpio or a Leo here of significance. Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn, Aries. This may not be um, their sun sign, but they may have this heavily aspected in their chart. Perhaps is their their Mars, their Venus, or maybe even their rising signs. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. But anyway, this person has been, um, you and this person maybe have been in some type of ongoing cycle where it has been um, a cycle of a third party situation the entire time or most of the time. This person could have for sure sold you some type of dream that they were going to leave someone behind to come towards you and make an offer that didn't happen. This person continued to build with someone else. And with this Ace of Pentacles being here, when this person had a choice to come towards you to make an offer, and I feel like you were willing to accept the offer that this person was going to make, they disappointed you and this put you in the Nine of Swords because most likely you quickly found out that that third party was still there and they went back to that person and they began to build something else. This person got stuck with somebody else because of some kind of financial bind or some kind of opportunity, possibly both, okay? And they definitely could have children. But again, that I know that they, they give some people a bit of clarity or confirmation if you were wondering, what is really important now, though, is that by this person rejecting you, it was God's protection because it's now leading you to this person, this King of Wands individual. And they don't have to be a, a um, fire sign, but th th there is a lot of fire and passion in this connection. It definitely could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, heavy Aries energy here. But this is a divine masculine, whoever this person is. They don't have to be a fire sign, um, but this is indeed a divine masculine. This is someone who has 
the spiritual tools and resources that are necessary for them to build a legacy with you and to break whatever generational curses that have prohibited you from being this empress. Um, this, to, from being an empress, an emperor, a, a parental figure, um, business owner or whatever it is. Th this is somebody here that is part of your life purpose and journey. And you're going to move forward. And this is being divinely guided and protected by your spiritual team with the chariot and the six of swords being here. It's like this person is rushing towards you and, and they're coming towards you with haste. This is fast moving energy. This is someone who is, is certain that it's you that they want. They're 100% they're certain. So what you missed out on in the past, which was someone who was certain about you, you're receiving somebody now that they're 100% certain about you. There, there is no, no trickery. There's no misunderstandings. There's no delays, nothing. I'm not saying that the situation will be perfect. No, but I am saying that you will have a sense of emotional security with somebody here who you know is choosing you. Hmm. And this is definitely a partnership. For some of you, this person could come into your life in the form of um, a friend, a business partner. You could work with this person or you've worked with them on some type of um, project before. They could work alongside, you know, your family. This person could have a family business or the two of you will eventually have a family business together that you will manifest. I feel like whoever this is, you and this person, you're going to come together and heal, but you're going to... Um, tie your resources together to create the Ace of Pentacles. This connection is going to, it's going to liberate you and this person. You're going to feel very happy, very free, very optimistic. Because it's, this is going to allow you to flourish and to grow. Some of you, this is someone who's going to actually allow you to, um, especially for my women watching and feminine energy. You could be male or female, but a lot of you who have just wanted to be in the feminine energy where you could naturally receive, this is someone who is going to allow you to receive. This is going to really um, throw you off, I feel, in, in your head space with the five of wands, the nine of swords, I feel like this type of energy is going to lead to a bit of internal conflict because it is actually healthy. It is true love. And some of you, you've been traumatized in the past because of all of the, the delays with this past life um, soulmate. This past life soulmate was just someone who was in your life, honestly, to teach you how to move um, by faith and not by sight, how to have patience, but also how to listen to the guidance of your spiritual team and your higher self to learn when it's time to move. And then also how to let go of pride and ego and to reach out to your spirit team for them to actually assist you when you are perhaps at a crossroads and you don't know what to do. Th this right here is a huge learning lesson of the importance of you not wasting time in codependent connections and relationships. That's what that person was meant to teach you because I'm getting strongly here. Somebody like life has been on hold, hoping, wishing, and praying for a past life soulmate connection with someone to manifest and it never did because the whole entire time there was a third party here. And the third party, you guys, could be another lover. It could be a family member. It could be um, the fact that you and someone have always had distance between you. Someone could have had financial um, issues or challenges. A third party is just any type of interference that has kept you and someone from being together. And this, for some, is a hard pill to swallow. But this is a time to realize that if this has not come together at this point, a particular situation that you were waiting for, maybe it's not meant for you, not meant to come together or divine timing is at play. But there is someone else that's either in your energy or about to enter your energy. You really need to give that person a chance to love you. This new person has good intentions and this new person could be someone that you already know or a person from your past. You will know by 
by the energy. This is a new lighthearted energy. It's somebody that really, really wants to invest in you and they're hoping that you will invest in them. I'm not seeing this as a one-sided type of situation. I'm seeing a true partnership. There are things that you and this person both are lacking and slacking and you can use one another to help you to grow. It's a very passionate new beginning of you learning new things after going with Anne on a spiritual journey here. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, this is being at the end of the row as a wounded warrior here. The Nine of Wands, a death card. And then here you have the Four of Wands. Look at that. The Ten of Swords, the Temperance, and the Fool. Beautiful. There's no more illusions or confusion here. Eight of Swords. You've already gone with Anne. And by going with and you should have received the clarity that yes, it is time for you to build something new because you've been waiting on a situation that's just not coming to pass. The nine of wands is this wounded warrior energy here, your persistence and the fact that you've been resilient. You're going to be celebrated here for going through this transformation where you can take a leap of faith. This is saying here, the worst is over. Your angels, they are protecting you from any type of deception, betrayal, any more heart, um, heartbreak, setbacks, losses, or any of that. You're being protected. You and whoever this person is that you're connecting with too, the both of you, um, you're, you're chosen, you're divine beings. So there is um, a, a double or, or triple hedge of protection that surrounds you and this person. A lot of you, you have several layers of protection but your union with this person is also being protected so even if there are people or situations from your past that are still trying to poke and pry at this situation your angels guys and ancestors they're they're monitoring this situation very closely because of course it is meant for you to be with this person for the sake of you creating something together there's something that you, this person um if we just want to talk for a moment about the feminine and masculine energy, the feminine, you have the fertile soil. This person, they have the seeds. I mean, it's beginning of time. Like it's creation, it's procreation and co-creation that is happening here with you and someone else. Um, a lot of you too, your journey has taught you about self-worth, healing and value. If you think about a person, if, if we even think right now about real estate or anything, if you have the land, the contractors, they should come to you to bid for land because no matter what, you cannot build anything without land or you cannot have a harvest of great crops without fertile soil. The feminine has the soil. It doesn't matter who has the seed if you don't have the soil. You know, Mother Earth Gaia is going to provide the land, the natural resources, the water, the sun and everything else but you have to have that soil there's a feminine out here who has good fertile soil and you have a masculine who has been in your energy for a very long time this person thought that they could just continue to hold out and they never planted seeds on that good soil well you have somebody now that's coming in and they're willing to pay top dollar for it They want to plant their seeds and it's the, the seeds of this uh, here planted is going to bring about a harvest. It'll be a perpetual harvest of great, great fortune. So, you know, this is part of the journey to where you have to learn to be very mature. What I'm seeing here is you are somebody's karma and they are your karma. There's a situation here. This is a past life karmic soulmate that, you know, it's, I'm sure it was it was good. It was great while while it lasted for some of you. But for a lot of you, this just never turned into a real. I don't get think that for a lot of you, this turned into a real serious relationship. It has been for some a decade of just you holding on to the idea and the potential of this relationship because you feel some type of bond to this person from your past. This person is part of a shadow aspect of yourself that you have to reach deep within yourself to actually heal so you can't run from this person because you would be running for yourself for some of you this could be a twin flame from you for you but they're choosing to stay in a more karmic energy therefore you're going to have to choose this high level soulmate and it doesn't matter to me the titles you soulmate twin flame karma whatever you have somebody that you can do life with that's either 
in your life or about to enter your life very soon. And this person will enter your life when you release all the remnants of the past situation. The person that's entering your life, you have to really make space for them. Because like I said, they want to co-create and procreate with you. They're not going to share their energetic field. They're not going to let somebody else plant their seeds in the, the soil that, that they've paid good money for. Like it's, it's like a bidding contract for this soil. Somebody's like, well, I want the contract fair and square, Divine Feminine. I'm not going to let your ex or somebody else come and plant their seeds on the land that I pay for. So some of you, the feminines, you're going to have to really make space, clear the land for somebody new. You can't have one foot in and one foot out. If you're done with the past, you have to really be done with it. There can like I keep and I, the, all the readings I keep saying there you have to deny access. You guys are still giving somebody access to you energetically. Hmm. This is this is gonna catch you by surprise though. Because the star is here with the high priestess. So something very significant here about you having some kind of spiritual upgrade, possibly here in Aquarius season with the star being here. You're going to receive some very, very strong, powerful spiritual downloads. It's going to give you a lot of clarity and confirmation about things. That's going to really help you in um, evolving, tapping in more to your higher self. But your connections are definitely going to um, go to the next level. And this emperor here with the tower and the three of cups, you're going to be very shocked to find that you're connecting with somebody that is from like the same soul tribe or same soul family as you. I don't think that you and this person... You're very, you're very different. I, I don't even want to say that they're part of your soul family. They understand you, but they're, they're, re they're actually. I spirit just said they're not part of your same soul family. Like, you guys resonate with some of the same things, but it's like this person's from a totally different planet, or they're a different breed or being. But yeah. A lot of you are really losing hope when it comes to matters of the heart. And now it's more important than ever that you are more hopeful and optimistic about love. Because what many of you may not see, if you're only looking at life through your 3D eyes and not your spiritual eyes, is that your counterpart, your life partner is either right there in your energy or they're like right around the corner down the street. Like they're really close to you. So some of you could start, um, even some of like your, your spiritual upgrades and developments, it's because you're getting much closer to this. So th for some of you, this is a physical union that's about to happen soon. It's just like, um, a woman carrying a, a child some of you right now it's like you need to start nesting um you need to start preparing for this person to be in your life um somebody here for sure may be expecting or will be expecting pretty soon because i'm just like you need to, like baby proof i just heard baby proof your house so first time it says the first date, kiss, or time together intimately will, will be unforgettable. Ease into it and appreciate every moment. Some of you could have um, been celibate for a while. Abstaining.
this this may be the person that you allow yourself to connect with on a deep intimate level some of you be careful the first time you could you could end up pregnant if you are of childbearing age or it is something very pure about this energy and innocent it's two people who who've done a lot of work four of wands death card you you've gone through a transformation in order to have this celebration love and basketball um somebody here could like basketball love and basketball california could be of significance acts of service doing something for your partner something you know that they will love or need when they're overwhelmed so this is the kind of person they're going to know how to anticipate your needs or this is you i i feel whatever this is with you and someone else as i said before and at the beginning this is not the type of relationship that is based on gender roles this is two people who do everything to ensure that both of you are at your best so acts of service here this is the type of connection you and this person will have you can anticipate one another's needs They're, they they know how to do things to make your life easier and and vice versa like this could be their primary love language or yours i'm seeing if you guys are you know in the you both cook you both clean You both, you know, you, you do bedtime stories with the kids together. Some of you, I'm telling you, this is um such a healthy type of love because I feel like it's two people who have both experienced like some type of heartbreaking, tumultuous like situation with friends, family, and with past lovers that it's like for the first time you're actually comfortable with allowing yourself to receive this type of love and also to give it to another person if it feels right and i can see how for a lot of people because this energy i can see how it can be scary because it's so it's so beautiful you know it's it really is it like oh this kind of looks like like tv like the movies because i'm seeing i'm seeing two people like sitting down in the bathroom right now like bathing a child together, reading bedtime stories. Like this is someone you're breaking generational curses with them. This is a very um, settled, mature type of love. And it has nothing to do with age. It's just two people who really know what they want. And and it seems like it's, it's an energy that is so... It's a fast-moving energy, but it's very steady. I, 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 it's, I'm having a difficult time with trying to explain what i i feel with this it's a very fast moving energy because this is two people who are very certain about one another but it's very steady you know it's like you and this person can have conversation just have conversations with just your eyes you don't have to say any words or This person can definitely read your body language very well. This if th this masculine here is a is a masculine who studies this feminine very closely. And this is this is the way this person this is this is how they're breaking through this emotional barrier with this feminine who has probably been up in arms for a long time. This person will study this divine feminine and therefore they can anticipate the needs of this divine feminine. This kind of person, you know, if they know you need to go somewhere, they don't, they'll help you put your shoes on. They'll help you do things just to make things easier. That will put you in a more feminine energy where you are willing to help this person do the same thing. This is, this is true partnership here. And I feel like it's very beautiful because it looks like 
there's two people coming together who um both may may share very similar morals, values, and goals when it comes specifically to family. Because I keep seeing flashes of two people in a bathroom having bath time with a child and reading bedtime stories. This is something this is someone who is they're present in the moment. And I'm specifically seeing a man because the stereotypes make it seem like men don't want to be a part of things like that. You guys are about to meet men who have a healthy balance of feminine energy. This is a man who wants to do things alongside the mother of their child. They want an actual family. This person could, for some of you, be divorced. They could have had a situation in the past where they had children with someone. Maybe they weren't in the home or they just didn't get to do things a certain way in whatever the dynamic was with their other relationship. Because first time is to this person saying, well, this is the first time that I really get to be in the home with my children and be in a committed relationship or married to the parent of, of the child or the children. Or this is the first time, you know, I've had this type of financial stability. It's something about this person, although there's a lot of experience that both of you have had, the things that you're doing together is the first time that they've experienced certain things energetically. A lot of things people have done physically, it was status quo, it was conventional, but somebody is like, no, like this is the first time it really felt right. This is really, really amazing. Friends with benefits. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Someone may be interested in an intimate connection with no strings attached. Be prepared for all that may be in store. Now, let me say this. For some of you, you have a person from your past. It never really moved past friends with benefits. Although they, they, they were a karmic soulmate to you, a past life soulmate. You could have been with them in a past life and the connection was very strong. But it never got to a level of a committed relationship. It was always friends with benefits. You're coming out of their energy now. Now, for some of you, you could have someone who is or was at some point a friend with benefits and they're making a decision. They're seeing you in the light of their divine feminine or for some masculine. They're, they, they're realizing that no, they don't want to be friends with benefits. They, they see their future with you. This is why you have to be very discerning. Because, you know, in life, you have a lot of experiences and, and some of them are all similar. You have here, it says divergent dreams. It says opposing career aspirations or dreams may be pulling you and your person in opposite directions. This may require a heart to heart conversation on how this affects the connection. Again, there is, I'm seeing a clear line here between past, present and for some, even the future, some of you are dealing with, you know, friends with benefits situation now, and you may leave that behind and go on to this life partner. For some of you in the past, you and someone were um, together and it was a, a strong bond, but this person could have had certain career aspirations or dreams. And so did you, and it caused you to separate and the connection, it never moved past friends with benefits. But it does seem like here for there is a, a connection that many of you is still looming over you because it's like it seems like it's unfinished business because your mind is not finding it easy to wrap it. Like, except the idea that you and this person, as strong as this, as this bond was with this person, it just didn't work out. It just didn't progress. And a lot of you, it's because of maybe financial issues or different um, career dreams and aspirations. Because like I said, for some of you, you have a person from the past that is still in your energy, but they went on to build with somebody else. 
that supported whatever their career dreams or aspirations were at the time. And you may have went on your spiritual journey or vice versa, however, it, however that is. And then now the two of you, you've learned lessons in your separation, but it's preparing the two of you most likely for other people. And that's okay. That's a hard pill for a lot of people to swallow in really accepting that what you wanted as a lifetime person was really just a lesson. This situation never moved past friends with benefits because your career paths and, and what you truly want out of life is just different. I think that you and someone both, you both want each other, but the other things that you want that require, that will, you know, are also very important for you to be happiest individuals has gotten in the way of that. And then you have her partnership. It says a partnership values stability, emotional integrity, shared goals and purpose. Enjoy the beauty of this bond while you are building your future together. Like I said, you have someone in your life or entering your life who wants to focus on partnership. Okay. They want to make sure that you have the acts of service. And then here we have words of, yeah, words of affirmation, happily ever after and mirrored souls. You and somebody else, you want the same things and you're going to have to let go of people whom it's, it's like it, it works, but it's too much of a struggle. You have to let go of struggle love to enjoy this type of steady love that you have coming. Yeah, there's a happily ever after situation here. Now, I will say for some of you. Wow. <laughs> the reading isn't changing, but there is a very strong energy here. And I know a lot of people are so they're so tired of their journey and they really want to move on. There's a heavy, heavy reconciliation energy here, you guys. Again, this doesn't have to be the first person that comes to mind that you think of from your past. But I do see very strongly here, for some of you, the person that you are going to end up with, there is not a new person. It's a new energy, but it, this is somebody coming back that you've experienced something with before. Again, this doesn't have to be the person that completely broke your heart um this could have been somebody again who was like a friends with benefits because i'm seeing on this words of affirmation card here somebody they know that if they don't make this move they're gonna lose you and then on this happily ever after card um <laughs> it's interesting because on these cards the images the images are tv shows and movies that i've seen and on this particular card, if you've ever watched the show Martin, um, he acted like he was okay with Gina leaving and moving across the country for a job opportunity. And she left because he didn't fight for her. She left. And he, he proposed to her. And it says, never be afraid to express your true feelings with the one you love. Seize the opportunity to let someone know that they are missed or loved. This may be you or your person's love language. And then we have happily ever after here. And on this particular show, which is the show Insecure, these um, these two, they, they broke up, they separated. They followed their dreams. They really had a lot of personal growth as individuals. And when it was time for them to come back together, the, her her lover had gotten someone else pregnant. They still managed to make it work. She forgave him and they still managed to have this happily ever after because they were truly mirrored souls. They were truly soulmates. It says this card signifies that you have met your spiritual other half. This is also confirmation of balanced masculine and feminine energy within oneself. So somebody here could have had a child with somebody else during the time that you guys were separated 
for some, even while you were together, because I'm looking at this secrets card here. But they see you as someone that they would like to ha ha be a power couple with and have a family. Now, for some of you, th this, that resonates with you if this is a past person, that person that maybe you have been waiting on. But then for some of you, again, please be very discerning. This is something that happened to you in the past. To me, we're still ha experiencing like a post shadow of Mercury retrograde. For some of you, this is a situation it happened to you in the past. And it's a memory, it's a lesson that you will forever have, but you have to take the lesson into your next chapter. It's just a lesson. For some of you, there's a person from your past that is returning. For some of you, you have another person that you've had experience experiences with that is returning. But they're returning and they want a full partnership. Happily ever after. They feel like you're their other half. And for some of you, you have someone from your past. They're looking over life now and they know that you're the one that got away. But unfortunately, their control issues... Could be the reason why you're not together or your control issues you know when people are afraid of things they want to control the situation you and another person could have had a lot of control issues in the past as you were both trying to do your own thing it was just hard for you to come together for some of you that connection is coming together or that person they have a lot to say to you but for some of you it's just it's your, it's your biggest heartbreak. And you have no choice now but to accept it, live with it. But you, you're you going towards a power couple relationship where there's going to be a lot of reciprocity. After being in a situation where it was a dead end. So you have something here that had all of this potential. And I can tell this is this is heavy energy now. Something that it had, it had a lot of potential. It really did, but it just, it was a dead end. It just wasn't going anywhere. You have somebody that's coming in now. You're going to have that, a very similar bond with them. And it may scare you because you may find yourself saying, I never thought I could feel like this again. It may scare you to the point that it triggers you and it makes you wonder if it's something wrong with a new person, some of you are experiencing or you will experience love so deep with somebody that's in your life that your past is going to start haunting you because you're going to find yourself thinking about the past so much because you're remembering love. You're remembering when you once were really in love. Unfortunately, you may not share that love anymore with the person that you experienced it with. But love is coming back to you. And I keep saying, let's take the faces and the bodies out and just look at the energy. The energy of love is re-entering your life. Don't, don't be wrapped up on who it comes from, the person. It is the energy of love. And some of you, you're like, wow, it's the first time that you've experienced this love in a, in a long time. Or you may be saying this is the first time I've ever actually really been in love. Because the more healed version of who you are now, you can recognize love because you know now, oh, well, there are acts of service. There is someone who is affirming me. Some of you were saying in the past that you were in love with somebody and it was a dead end situation full of secrets and control issues. You were friends with benefits, but you were holding on to the connection that you had with this person that was possibly just from a past life because you had not healed. So it was more codependent. And, and more of an unhealthy attachment, more so than an actual partnership. You have a real partnership coming in for you now. But it's going to remind you a lot of the past because you're like, wow, I felt this before. You're feeling love again. This time, it's going to be healthy because you're healthier and you're better than you were the last time. Right? I hope this makes sense. It's a lot happening energetically here. 
where you're you're ju you're jumping a timeline here is what's happening. And the past will for sure haunt you. It, it's scary because you're 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 jumping off into this brand. You're taking this quantum leap of faith into this brand new beginning where you're putting your heart and everything else on the line. And because most people have experienced at least one person in their life that they feel like is truly the one. And this right here, I feel for a lot of you, it's accepting that you have that one that got away. Or, or someone is, is realizing that you truly are the one that got away. Yeah. Falling in love, see? <laughs> The feeling of falling in love is one of a kind. Know that it is safe for you to be in love. I told you, you're falling in love again after a very long time. And it's going to feel very, un I, I can see it's going to feel very uncomfortable. Because your fear of this turning into a dead end situation or your fear of this being just friends with benefits like the last situation, your fear of love hurting you the way that it did in the past with this one particular person, especially, is going to haunt you. And you're going to have to really train your mind to know that you're actually free. You've grown, evolved, you've healed you you're worthy of having wish fulfillment you are someone's wish fulfillment you're free you're sovereign you're free and you you should be experienced in true love but this love is going to trigger you yeah patience yeah interferes those interfere yeah wow this love whoever this person is is coming in for you they're going to trigger trigger you a lot because they're going to force your heart chakra to open. And when your heart chakra opens, that, that's meaning that all of the the wounding and everything else around you, it has to fully heal. Those scabs are going to start getting a little itchy, you know. Those wounds, the scabs are going to start getting a little bit itchy. This person is like, don't worry about it. <laughs> They're like, I'll moisturize it and, and, and bring in the fade cream. Don't worry about it. Just be patient and allow yourself to fall in love. Don't let these interferes get the best of you because here you have a new chapter of ecstasy with someone that sees you as their main attraction. This is a clear message that for some of you, you really, you need to give love a shot. You need to let this person love you. They're real. They're honest. They're true. For some of you, of course, if you feel like this is the energy of the person from your past, give them a shot. For some of you, you could have a person that's, you know, it's been a casual situation or friends with benefits. There's somebody that is going, and it's going to be clear because, like I said, it's just like the the land, the, the soil and the seeds. Who's coming in with the contract ready to bid? Who's putting in the offer? That's good. That's all of the clarity that you need, really. Because a lot of people, you guys, who spirit is does not want in your life, they can't come towards you. So if you're waiting on somebody that's not communicating with you at all, give that up. Who's actually putting in the work? Who's providing you with the acts of service? This this situation for some of you, you're making it very complicated, complex, and saying you're so confused, and you're not confused, or you shouldn't be. Who's putting in the work? It's it's very simple. We're all grown here. Who's who's putting in the work? Who's who's making you feel the most feminine and emotionally safe? If you're looking over your shoulder with somebody, that's not the one because you are at a place where your intuition is on 10. If it doesn't feel right, it's probably not right. So go towards the people who make you feel emotionally safe. That's friends, family, and lovers. People who aggravate your spirit, you need to stay away from them. I just said that you need to start giving out spiritual restraining orders. You need to tell everybody to back up and give you 50 feet. Stop letting people throw your, your emotions and, and your whole nervous system and chakra system off because they bring confusion and chaos. There's a person that wants to love you. They they make you calm. They don't bring you chaos and conflict. They bring you 
calmness. You, you're going to recognize that person. They don't irritate you. So if you're still waiting on these past people, you're holding yourself back. They're not putting forth any effort. Leave them where they are, except that it was it wasn't meant to be a lifetime. You may be maybe you were with them another lifetime, but in this lifetime they were a lesson. Let it go. They don't make you feel good. They give you stress and worry and anxiety. So why are you still waiting? What are you waiting on? Because waiting signifies that you're codependent. And you have control issues because you're trying to cling to the idea of something and your control is, well, if I do this, then I'll get this outcome that you want. There's a situation here that no matter what you do, you're just not going to get the outcome that you want because it's not actually meant for you. Final shot. Yeah. Somebody here is, for some of you, somebody is going to come and shoot their shot or you can expect to hear from them because they're always going to be wondering what if disharmony and reconciliation life partner divine union wow some of you there's a person from your past you and this person you may not necessarily reconcile but there may be an opportunity to just like clear the air there's maybe they want to just address some some issues or how they think or how they feel. Maybe they really want to just give you an apology. This card says be open to someone returning and wanting to work things out. Whoever it is, you guys is coming into your life. Be open to it, whether it's someone new or old. You should know what love feels like and love doesn't have to hurt you. Yeah, because you're going into a life partnership with your with um you're going into a, a divine union with a life partner. And this is someone who is on the same spiritual journey as you because we have law of attraction and spiritual awakening with higher self. And then you have missed chances. This is going to be a somebody will miss an opportunity with you. Just period. Because you should be wanting to go towards the person that's going to push you closer to your higher self and closer to God. Anything that is pulling you away from God, anything that is causing you chaos, conflict, and um, confusion that doesn't allow you to operate at your best, as your higher self, it's not for you. And, and that should make it much easier for you to figure out which what direction you should go in. A person who doesn't allow you to trust yourself <laughs> because you can't trust them, it's, it's no, no good. No good for you. Someone has missed out on the opportunity to build a future with you. And you are about to start, somebody is about to notice soon that you're going to be getting to know a new person. Or, or you and someone from the past are reconciling. There's going to be a lot of exciting news. Whether it's an engagement, moving in together, a pregnancy, starting a business together or something. You're, get, you're going to discover something new when it comes to love. This is like one of those readings where it's like 50-50. For some of you, you are 100% going to reconcile with a person from your past. And if they've changed and they're willing to put in the work, there's absolute, there's nothing wrong with it. As long as you don't feel like it's a dead end situation and you're not doing it um, because you feel obligated in some way or you're settling, go for it. But for some of you, um... You're the one that got away from somebody. You have a new person coming into your life. And it's probably going to even bother you that you're you're really opening yourself up to someone new because you had such high hopes for a situation from the past to come come together. For some of you, though, there is a person from your past. They have not given up, but you just have to see what they put forth the effort. Because some of you, there is no contact with this person. 
Will they will they ever come in and, and make a move? If not, you know, someone else is going to take their place and it'll just be a mischance. Let's pull from this small lover's deck and we'll be done. It's a lot of love though. You guys, um, I feel like you can absolutely look forward to falling in love. For those of you who are going to allow someone from your past, in your life, especially if it was a situation, you know, if they married someone else or had children with someone else or you've been separated, um, you're going to have to just be able to forgive. Like I always say, you're going to have to love like you've never been hurt before if you're going to move forward with someone from the past. Even if you meet someone new, you can't hold their past against them. Romance. Wow. It says wine and dine, getting to know each other and flirting. Ooh, new energy. I like. I mean, it's just whatever. Like I said, if it's an old person, new person. But you guys are about to have a, a good, a a good season here. A good, good year. Some of you are definitely going to um, meet the person that you're going to be building with. Wow. Here we have it. Missing you. Regret. Self sabotage. See, some of you. This is there's new love coming, and somebody is re regretful about it. Because they missed out on an opportunity. Some of you, like I said, maybe you've been um, single, celibate for a long time. You're about to get back out there on the scene. And I feel like somebody already has their eye on you. Chaser. Somebody is coming for you. They're determined. That's the King of Wands energy that we saw earlier. Past life connection. See, this person is coming in for you now. It's also a past life connection. It's a past life connection that they are determined to have a physical union with you this lifetime. But you also have a past life karmic connection with someone that couldn't get it right. So you just have to be very discerning because some of you, you have very, very strong um, connections to multiple people. mirroring look at them as if they are you some of you when it comes to people that you have dealt with before give them don't be um don't be afraid to give them grace look at them as if they are you because maybe they were not healed in the past just like you weren't healed maybe they have healed now so if they have something to say maybe you should listen same thing if you meet a new person give every give everybody grace and mercy Somebody is definitely watching you, stalking you, and spying on you and holding back. So somebody is de deeply regretful because you're the one that got away. They're spying on you. They're watching you. This is a masculine. They're watching you. They're stalking you. They're spying on you. They're holding back. They're not saying anything. But, you know, if you snooze, you lose because while this person is holding back, not saying anything to you because of their control issues and stubbornness, or whatever somebody else is competing for an opportunity with you and this person is determined to have you they're coming in to wine and dine you um they have a past life connection with you and listen somebody is coming in they're not playing it your divine masculine is coming in for me just from what i see in this energy because of course everyone is at different places in their journey some of you you are choosing to reconcile with someone some of you, you feel like you're leaving a twin flame behind for a soulmate. Some of you feel like you're leaving a soulmate behind for a twin flame, whatever, however it goes for you. I see a lot of new energy here, but it's like new old energy. And let me explain. It's new energy, but you guys are connecting with past life connections. You're connecting for some of you. You're connecting with your true divine counterpart, your true twin flame. Um... The person that's going to come in and, and truly heal you and build a future with you. They already know. When they see you, they already know you. Energetic, they know you. Their, your souls recognize one another. This other masculine here, to me, this just seems more like a karmic masculine. And that doesn't mean that they're bad. Um, and I know for some of you, you're like, this person put me through so much hell. But that prepares you for your true divine masculine. 
So instead of being angry with them, thank them. And also take responsibility for what you allowed in the situation. That karmic masculine is not the only person responsible for what happened in your connection with them. If you chose to wait for 10 years for a person to come back towards you, you can't blame everything on the other person. I know that's triggering to some people, but it's true. You have to learn how to walk away. Now you're going to receive what you actually deserve from someone, someone that's coming in and they are determined to have you because they recognize you. Yeah, this is someone who wants to have material gifts, blessings. It's a cosmic gift. And look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Divine feminine. This person, this divine masculine, they feel like you are a cosmic gift to them. You are the gift that that keeps giving. You have the fertile soil that they need for them to plant their seed. This is like this. That's all this is to it. This is a very strong message for the person that's coming towards you. Yeah. And it says here, leaving, moving forward, leaving behind what doesn't serve you and behind that is temptation. This karmic masculine has to be left behind for a lot of you. Karmic masculine or feminine, whoever this feminine energy is. Yeah, of course they're in regret, but people, they always regret losing you once they've lost you. Yeah, but you see clear, you see things clearly now. You're getting answers and what you're receiving now clearly is that you're going to receive um, a higher level of commitment, an engagement, a proposal, a marriage. And it says release, let go and trust your angels, trust that you're guided, wish fulfillment and commitment. Wow. Coming very soon. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. So trust the process. You're being, you're going to receive a lot of signs within the next few weeks and you're going to see who, if you have more than one person in your energy, it's going to be very clear who's trying to be controlling and toxic. Okay. Somebody is going to be trying to control you or project a lot of energy towards you because you're happy. And this is a past life love who was a runner. And they won't let go. I can't make the, the cards are speaking. They won't let go. You have for this person is watching you. They're a green eyed monster. It was all about money with this person. Money, their inner childhood wounds. They wouldn't do their shadow work. They wouldn't heal. You took the lessons from this situation or you knew you need to. And allow yourself to continue to just grow and to develop and go towards this divine union here. For some of you, it's a divine connection with a soulmate. But this person is going to be loyal to you. And there you have it. Is this, uh, well, they, they have a puppy. Some of you guys, like I said, you may not want to have kids. You and this person, maybe you'll have a pet or a business together. But if somebody, you and this person, you, you'll have a good life together. Just beware because whoever this karmic energy is for you, a lot of you, this person is, is trying to communicate with you telepathically. They're being kicked out of your energetic field so they can't do that. So eventually they may break down and call you, okay? Or they may try to show up in your dreams, but you need to pay very close attention because somebody here is karmic. And again, you're, you're just supposed to learn certain lessons with this person, but there's competition now reconciliation yeah somebody wants to come back from the past to start fresh they have a lot to say now they may ask you to go on some type of trip okay you have your twin flame finances manifesting awakening and new love yeah some of you your new love is your true twin flame and to me i feel like that's typically how it, it happens like yeah and you have to make a decision what are you going to do and the decision at this point should just be to be in the flow. Don't force anything. Continue working on your own self-worth and value and just trust the, the process. You really don't have to do anything because like I said, for my divine feminist, you are the one that has the fertile soil. The masculines must bring the seed to you. So you can sit back and see who's coming in with the, who who's bidding for a contract to plant seeds on your land in your soil. You don't have to do much here. 
that's where a lot of feminines are going wrong. You keep doing too much. What, what, what are you doing? The feminine, you, you sit, you rest, you nest. Stop doing so much. Stop saying so much. Stop going so far. You're the one with the land. They can't plant anything without your land, without your soil. Somebody is going to come in and communicate. They may tell you that they're leaving everything behind or they want to go on a vacation with you or whatever. Be careful because this person is most likely going to try to come in and sneak and plant a seed before somebody else can come in and buy up all of your land. Don't settle for giving somebody a portion of the land where you can give when somebody will come and buy the whole thing up. You need to think about your own profits now and what is being poured into you in your life. Don't settle for a piece of a person. Because I see that a lot. A lot of people, they want you to be their piece, but they want you to settle for pieces of them. No, you have a karmic person here that is mad because they can't telepathically communicate because you're closing off all of the, the access to you. So that this new person can telepathically communicate with you and can visit you in your dreams. This other person is upset because they're realizing now with the loss of your energy, that they missed out on, the, on a, a true divine feminine or masculine. You have the real the real person coming in for you. And again, I'm not bashing the past. Because for some of you, reconciling with a person from your past, maybe that, that is what's right for you. You could have someone in your life right now that doesn't mean you well. And the person from the past is actually truly the one that you should be with discern 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 it doesn't matter if they're old or new check out the energy and who's putting forth the actual effort who do you feel emotionally safe around that will tell you what you need to know